Welcome back. This is Chris Toy, and today we are going to make a recipe from my new cookbook. It's going to be lemon chicken, and we'll steam some rice up to go with it. So since the rice takes the longest to do, let's get that started. So my mom's recipe is we'll take some rice, figure between a quarter and a half a cup of raw rice per person. And what we'll do is we will put in enough water so that when I touch the top of the rice, when I touch the top of the rice, it just covers the first joint of my index finger. Not, not the bottom of the pot, but the top of the rice. We'll just cover that up. And what we'll do is we'll bring that to a boil. And as soon as a puff of steam or I hear it boiling, what I'll do is I will just put it on low and the rice will be done in 10 minutes. Make sure you don't take the cover off because if you take the cover off, the steam escapes and the rice cooks by steaming, not by boiling. So there's our rice. The next thing we're going to do is we're gonna make the sauce for the chicken. So the lemon flavor for lemon chicken actually comes from the lemon that's in the sauce. And it's a very simple sauce. What we'll use is we'll use some chicken broth. I've got about a cup here. And I'm going to put most of it in, but I'm going to leave maybe about a quarter of a cup out so that I can make a roux. So we'll get that heating up. And let's get our lemon juice in here. And uh, if you want to use other citrus, you certainly could. Lime is good, or a mixture of lemon and lime. You could use orange as well. I've never tried grapefruit. I'm not sure what it would taste like. There we go. So a lemon is about um, two or three tablespoons of lemon juice. And I'm going to mix in a tablespoon of cornstarch right in here. And this is starting to heat up. Before I add this, what I'm going to do is put in some ginger and garlic for flavoring. So let's go over to the cutting board. And here we have some fresh garlic. Just peel it. We'll just smash that. Another one. And one more. There we go. And we'll just Chop that up. All right. So let's put that right in. You can see that our rice is boiling, so I've just turned that on to low. And let's grab some fresh ginger. We'll do the same thing with that. Sorry about the noise. So what I did is I cut that ginger across the grain so that the uh, grain is very short. So 
that when I smash it, it just basically falls apart. So that ginger and garlic is going to really flavor that broth. And by the way, I use uh, this uh, Better Than Bullion. It has no MSG in it. And I use it half strength. So if it says a teaspoon for a cup, I use a half a teaspoon. I use um, a half a teaspoon for a cup. So this is nice and hot now. And here we go. We'll just put our cornstarch mixture right in. So we'll give that a little stir. I'll come back and uh, look at this in a few minutes. This is on um, medium. And we're going to let this thicken up. So while we're waiting for that to happen, let's move over to the chicken. So the way we're going to cook this chicken is we're going to do not stir fry, not deep fry, but we're going to do what's called a shallow fry. So we're just going to put in maybe a quarter cup of oil right into this nice heavy cast iron wok. And we're going to let that heat up. And we want it to heat up until, just until it's um, what we call shimmering. And if you look at the oil, I don't know if you can see it with the camera, but you can see it's kind of moving around a little bit. See that around the edges? So we want all of the oil to, to do that. So it's not smoking, but it's, it's shimmering. And what that will do is it will uh, fry up our chicken so that it's crispy on the outside and still moist on the inside. So I can see you've, I've stirred this uh, sauce here, the lemon sauce, and it's, it's thickening up. So I'm going to put that right on low so I don't get, uh, so I don't have it boil over. So let's head over to the chicken. So I'm going to be um, putting some scallions into the chicken. So let me cut that up first. I'm going to cut this at an angle about half inch pieces and I tend to use the whole scallion well almost the whole scallion I like to leave this um, this lower part I like to save that because what I'll do is I'll put this in a little bit of water into a cup and in a week or two I'll have scallions when the weather gets a little warmer I can put it outside and, and grow scallions so we'll don't forget these. Cleavers are great scoops, as long as you're careful not to cut yourself. All right. So we'll take a look over here again. And this has turned into a nice, nice gravy, nice sauce. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a little sweetener. I'm going to use honey, but you could use maple syrup since we're from Maine. You could also use uh, brown sugar or cane sugar, molasses, anything sweet. And we'll, we're going to put in a, about a quarter of a cup, which is almost the rest of this. And if you take a look at the oil, you can see it shimmering, which is exactly what you want. There. We'll give 
had a stroke. So let's go over to the chicken now. So you want your chicken, boneless chicken, and I, I like to use um, boneless thigh, and we're gonna cut this into bite-sized pieces. So probably about half inch cubes. We don't want it too small. I like to kind of describe it as chopstick size. One more cut here. All right. So this next step reminds me of uh, that old ad, um, shake and bake chicken. I know Joan wants to say, and I helped, but she's controlling herself. All right, and so what we'll do now is we're gonna put in just a little bit of flavoring. I'm gonna put in some soy sauce. About a tablespoon, not too much. We don't want it to be too wet. And um, we're gonna use some wine. And uh, I have two choices of wine here. Here's the Japanese Mirin. These are both rice wines. They're just fermented a little bit differently. So mirin is made with um, raw rice. So it's got a light color. And uh, this Shaoxing Chinese wine is actually made with toasted rice, which is why it's a little bit darker. So we're gonna go Chinese here. And we'll go with another tablespoon of that. And let me just kind of mix that together. Remembering that most of the flavor is going to be coming from the uh, lemon sauce, the lemon flavor. But this is going to give it a nice sweet and uh, salty flavor. So there we have our chicken. Oh, and this chicken was at room temperature. So I, I, uh, I usually take my meats out and I let them warm up a little bit. And this is about a quarter cup of corn starch. And you can use, you could use uh, flour if you wanted to. But we're gonna lightly coat our chicken. Really easy with the shake part. And let's head over here. Let me give this another stir. So, here we go. Our lightly coated boneless chicken thighs. And now, let's just, just put this chicken right in here. Shallow frying it. Just gonna coat, coat the bottom of the wok. So you don't want to get the liquid. There we go. Smells great. So what we'll do is you'll see it starts to turn light around the edges. So that's gonna tell us that it's almost done frying. Doesn't take very long which is why you want to uh, have it at room temperature. If this were refrigerated, it would probably take twice as long to cook. So I'm gonna turn this over. Separate these out a little bit. So see it's formed, you can see there's a little crust Just 
break that apart. So we want those to be crispy on the outside. And again, I like to use the dark meat because it does stay moist. There we go. So believe it or not, we are almost done. We'll let that fry up a little bit more. We'll give this a little stir. Our rice, let's take a look at that. Close to 10 minutes, you can see. Rice is almost done. So let's finish the chicken here. So I'm going to shut the heat off. This is a very hot wok. And I'm going to drain the oil. before I add some scallions. So, here we go. Remember, that was only a quarter cup of oil. Whoop! I planned that. Crispy chicken. Here's our scallions. You hear that? It's still sizzling. And that heat from the wok is just going to release that flavor of the scallions into the chicken. And now, let's turn, turn the wrong one off. There we go. give this a quick stir. You can see how that cast iron has just maintained that heat. And it's going to finish thickening that sauce. And let's grab our rice. chicken. So there you have it. Lemon chicken with rice and scallions. So I can get one where I won't burn my mouth. Mmm. tender. So that's it for now and thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time.